Hello again everyone and welcome back to this series on how to drive Connect Transport. Now before we start of course, if you can subscribe that would be fabulous and also ring that little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, so the iconic transport today is that famous fighter from Star Wars, the X-Wing. Okay, and I'm going to start off with the fuselage, which is quite long. I'll start off with a kind of slightly raised portion here, which has the windows of the cockpit. And there's a oblong one there. Then on the side, they have a triangular one. And then a upended triangle one there. Okay, so there's the slope of the cockpit. Behind the cockpit, of course, we have a compartment for the droid. And the droid sits in here. And Luke Skywalker's, of course, it was uh, R2-D2. That's a wee chap in there. <laughs> okay, and then the long nose of the fuselage, way sloping out like that, okay? And at the tip, there is a uh, a heat screen which comes across like this and angles down something like that. Okay, and there's uh, some kind of intake there which you can put on the front like that. Okay, and the edge, front edge is there and that slopes up towards the corner of the, the window. Also there are stripes on the side which we'll be colouring later. This will be a kind of battle scarred version, so that stripe will be a, a bit uh, a bit worse for wear, shall we say. Okay, there's another intake here, which is a curved one, like that. Okay, so there we have the, the kind of stubby shape of the, the main shape of the fuselage. Now, the, the wings, of course, the X-wings can open out um, like a normal plane. They are, they're straight, but when they're opened out, they form the iconic X-wing shape. And so imagine an X going across like that. So you get one X coming up there. One side of the X, another side coming down here. Okay, so this is one of the, the bottom wings. So the engine is actually slung underneath it. And the top wing, the engine is on top, so the both wings can come together. Okay, so one engine there. And it has a kind of cross piece in the center there. And this one here, another front for the engine, another cross piece coming over there with the length of the engine coming behind it. There's a kind of fat piece then and a slimmer piece kind of jumping out from behind it there. Okay, and at the end of the wings, of course, you have the laser cannons attached again on top of the top wings and below the bottom wings. So you get that kind of shape there, tubular shape. And from that, you get the projection, the laser cannon, and then a slightly thinner bit there to the end, which is a curve, and then you get that kind of shape there with that projection, okay? Um, at the end of this one, you know, there's your underside of the X coming across here to the end of the wing tip. The laser cannon here is slung underneath, of course, like uh, that was on top, the bottom will be slung underneath. Um, comes in about uh, here, it's underneath. And there's the tip of the wing. There's a laser cannon kind of slung underneath. Extension coming out here. And that part with the, the you see the angle there? Well, obviously these are parallel if you look at actually down on top, but because we're looking at a, an angle here, this will be in perspective. Imagine these two lines continuing up to join a vanishing point up here. Okay, so that's your viewpoint. Okay, so the next wing comes up just above there. We start more across like that, you see? There's the other part of the X. Now you won't see the engine below that because it's behind the cockpit here. And of course we see the other laser cannon coming in underneath there. This is all roughly positioning just now, giving an idea how the things are put together. And the part of the tip coming in there. Okay, the top, the top engine comes in just about here, directly above there. Okay. And it's got the center part again, 
I can rub in the centre then again this engine part thicker to begin with and then you have a, a smaller part coming out behind it like that okay and there's also a, another piece of machinery on top just come jutting out of here which joins on to the joins on to the uh, engine there okay and the wing carries on coming up like that and on top of that you have the other laser cannon now imagine as i said these lines going off so this one will go at a slight angle like that because the vanishing points way up here somewhere okay so when you get your laser cannon perched on top of that wing like that a bit foreshortened and appearing just there like that okay so there we have the, the rough pencil drawing of the x-wing uh, of course some of the famous features are the patterns that are on the wings and so on and you get a couple of little marks like this on that wing and these are red there's a black shape in there and the black shape coming up here I'll put these in more detail when I'm inking in uh, and then like that I can see the couple of wee lines coming in over bit there a black shape there and another thing there and then underneath we have the black shapes come in like this and across and underneath that engine and then there's a, a, an intake actually this stops this two gone have done that too far this stops about there because there's actually an intake here which you see coming around the side of the, the fuselage and that black shape I, I was drawing there comes up and down the, over there and over that shape and up and round and behind that engine there okay and there's a, another mark over here excellent so that's all roughed in for you and I'll get the pen now and we can start to put the details in okay I'm going to start with this laser cannon up here and uh, put some more details in uh, a bit more finesse on the drawing here so these tubes come up like that and then they become part of a kind of extension which will be coloured yellow eventually uh, in the final drawing and then this part of the laser kind of comes in here comes forward and joins on to the narrower one which comes in to there and you get another kind of collar shape with that almost like a sighting mechanism there okay in this part here actually you get these uh, these kind of shapes appearing well, almost like a wheel shape coming in okay and then we'll carry on we're thinking in over the pencil lines and basically that's what I'm going to do I'm just trying to think of any other little details I want to put in well, I suppose like the droid you know it has lines coming around it like that and it has a little feature at the front there then little things there like that um, you have a thickness to the front of the wing so you can draw that in before you draw these shapes in and when you're drawing the actual engine itself you carefully draw around the curve and double that line up come around like that but stop there because the central line I say there's a kind of big circular shape coming in there that kind of joins up to this line here we'll come around there like that same with that one there I'll connect to there and carry on and then the shape of the big engine you get a you have to draw all the way around that curve you can do that and then kind of give it that little look there and then the joining part is smaller and it's got that kind of radiated line shape coming in there and getting smaller as you go towards the back and playing around it there okay so those are the details which I'm going to uh, carry on with around here before I, before I move on let me just put this little detail in here 
like that. Comes down at an angle like that, and underneath there. It joins up to that engine, which is much the same as that one, okay? And underneath here, you also get some little engine shapes appearing like that. Okay, so I'm going to carry on and put these details in and catch you up when I'm finished. Okay, I've outlined all the main shapes just now. I'm just finishing off putting in some of the finer details. Uh, these engine parts in here and made up a little shapes like that. And there, there's also a, a kind of component, engine component, which appears in here. This wing slopes down to join the uh, engine just under here, which follows that line around there. And the kind of engine shape you get is, or intake rather, something like this. The little shapes coming and appearing in there like that. Okay, so that's all the main uh, parts of the X-Wing drawn now. So I think what I can do is I get a, a slightly thicker black pen and I can start to put in the uh, areas of black. Okay, I'll start by putting in the black in the center part of the engine here. This little bit coming around behind the engine on the wing, going on to the wing there, and that the little bits at the front on the laser cannon, there to the wheel there. This whole area here, best thing to do is to draw along your line first of all like that, and shade in the space. Okay, there's also a rather dark bit right under the wing here, so put that in. Like that. Okay, and then of course little bits in the engine compartment. Like that, leaving some white highlights. In the front of the droid here. Also the uh, windows. Like those out. This one too. And the triangular one. Okay, I'll fill these in and catch when I've done it. Okay, just finish that off. Uh, this is black too, this kind of uh, the shape and uh, the back part of the intake here and around the side of this engine this whole shape that I've drawn in here that's all black coming around in there coming underneath the wing there coming across just finish that one off a uh, little bit of black down the side of this intake here. This section here is black alongside this laser cannon. Right onto the wingtip, wing edge rather. And little shapes inside there. It's a black too. Okay, so I think that's the all the main black parts that I need to do. Maybe a little one around here on these parts, on there like that. Okay, well that's black too, I didn't realize that. Okay, uh, and also in here, keep on seeing bits I've missed. <laughs> right, okay, anything else? Uh, a wee bit up here, yep. I can always go back if I miss bits, you know. Wee bits around there, and in here. And what I'm going to do now is get a grey pen and put in some kind of smudges and 
you know, or kind of battle scars that uh, that X Fighter has experienced, make it look a bit more real. Okay, okay, I've got this kind of brush tip, uh, grey pen here. I'm just going to touch in some of the areas that uh, you might expect would get a bit uh, battle worn, you know. And you, what you can do is just use little dabs like that along the fuselage, a bit along some of the lines, you know, or maybe around the front like that, along a couple of these lines here. Okay, and also maybe underneath, coming right along here. You know, these are the dents and scrapes and bits of debris hitting it in space, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, a wee line under there too. Coming along here. And maybe in the front of the, the wing. And along the side of the laser canister here, just to give them a bit of solidity. Okay. Like that, these two. Oh, I just noticed I missed, uh, missed that in a little wheel shape here. In this one. There's always something you notice, isn't there? <laughs> okay, uh, I'll carry on now putting these uh, bits of detail on. You see, it's starting to make it look uh, a bit more artistic when you do things like that. You know, you add a bit of kind of life to your drawing. Like that, and you get in there. And along the front, like that, and then come on the side of the laser cannon here, like that, right along the front of this wing here, underside of that, and then that goes up there, and then this laser cannon. Coming along there, like that. Excellent. Well, that's starting to look pretty good. Well, I'm moving on a bit of colour now. The, uh, these parts here on the laser cannons are yellow, so I can just touch them in with that colour there. I forgot to put that uh, black, as you can see. I'll go back to that in a second. There we are. Okay, now I'm dragging some of that uh, black into the yellow, it doesn't really matter because it gives the worn look that we're looking for. Okay, and then to finish it off, uh, a red one to put in the flashes on the wings and so on and the fusel lights, just a wee touch of. Again, you don't have to, to colour it uh, solidly, you can just use it like that. And you'll get the Again, the kind of battle scar look we're looking for. Okay, along this as well, up to this point here. And I've actually drawn that fairly, in a fairly ragged way, you know. Come out like that. As long as you keep within those lines there, you get the sense of the flash running along the side of the fuselage. Okay, and then I have a couple of ones up here. On that one. And I think that does it. Excellent, that's looking pretty graphic now. Great, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you can join me again uh, for another tutorial on how to draw iconic transport. Uh, but in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing.